All right, uh, today our lesson in troubleshooting will include how to clear out a possible clog in your flex line going to your rear rotisserie burner. So the first thing you're going to want to do, whether you have a professional grill or an LTE or traditional, whatever you have, it's going to be the same process. Um, so the drip tray down here, pull that out. Get that out of the way. You're now going to go underneath the control panel. You're going to see this flex line going to the rear rotisserie um, igniter. Uh, with a pair of pliers, get up in there. That's my loosening sound. I've already loosened this one just to make it easier for the video. So, take that wire off. Not wire, flex line. Come around to the back of the grill. You're going to see this panel back here with four screws in it. And again, I've already taken two of the screws out. So you're going to do the same thing on the flex line on this side, which is going to be right here in front of you. You want to undo with a pair of pliers, you can get it loosened. Now you have both ends of the flex line exposed, can of air, shoot it through there and then come up underneath the grill head and shoot a can of air up into this, where am I? This brass fitting here, which is gonna clear out this orifice right here. So that, that way you're not unscrewing this part. That can just stay in place. Um, blow those out, put everything back together. And usually um, that's gonna solve the problem. If that rear burner is not getting enough gas flow, it's usually little spider got up in there or something. So, yep, put it back together and away you go. Hopefully that helps. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.